Hey there Libra, welcome to Healing Guys Tarot. This is going to be your love reading for April 2021. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what's going on for Libra. What do we have going on for Libra here? Okay, King of Pentacles, stable. Hmm, so now could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Or that could be your energy being very stable. And then we have Temperance. Restoration. So something's being restored here. And then we have Judgment. Okay. Karma Review. And then we have Knight of Wands. Passionate Adventure. Ooh. So we got two kings here. And then we have Eight of Pentacles. This is a work in progress. Okay. And then we have Death Transition. Oh, I'm liking this reading. And then we have Five of Pentacles. Isolated and Alone. Lone Wolf there. And Page of Cups, Message of Love. Seven of Swords, Deception and Strategy. And then we have Ace of Wands, Spark. Nice. We have Three of Pentacles, Collaboration, Working Together. All right. So, now with the King of Pentacles, that could be your energy here, being very stable and financially doing well here. Or it could be someone coming in someone that's around you and then we have a restoration so this could be restoring a relationship and now with the judgment card this could be someone coming back in and this is karma review maybe uh, there could be just something going on in your life that when the judgment cards could this I think this would work out in your favor but in a lot of cases it is something coming back around and then we have the Knight of Wands. So someone from the past could be come back in or you just recently um, were involved with this person in the past or they came around and they're passionate and they're uh, adventure or they could see you as being very passionate but I think this is someone that you have recently had contact with but we'll you know clarify these and then we have a work in progress so something you're working on you're probably putting a lot you could be really focusing on your work a lot and coming up, we have some kind of change here. There's something ending for something new to begin. So you have a transition. And you're feeling, you might be, I think, I really feel like you guys are really um, focusing on yourself here. By this isolating alone, I feel more like you're being alone because you're working on things. You're paying more attention to your career. But someone wants to give you a message of love here. So there is a page of cup coming in. They could also be bringing you a gift. But there is... It could be apology too. It's a message of love. Okay, now we're gonna have to go into this more. This um deception and strategy. Someone might be trying just to try to see how they can talk to you or do something. So we gotta, you know, we'll clarify that. But we have the H of Ace of Wands coming out in the end. So something brand new is sparking here. Something very exciting. Okay, now let's clarify. Let's get more into this. King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here for Libra? But this energy feels really good. Mute. Okay, so this um, King of Pentacles isn't talking. You're not talking to this person. So there's no communication right now. Alright. And why is this restoration here? Return. Yeah, this. Uh, yeah, I think this person wants to come back. There's a return. We put the judgment and this restoration and the um, the return. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Might be someone come back in the past. They might be come back very. I mean, they may have made some kind of a romantic gest gesture towards you. I'm sorry, I can't speak. Maybe this person having a hard time speaking. So karma review. Why is karma review here? The judgment card. Signs. Okay, you're getting signs. I don't know if you're noticing, but you might be feeling this person around you, or m might be seeing their name, or just hearing songs that remind you of this person. Because you are getting signs. Okay, now the passionate adventure of Knight of Wands. Recognition. They might recognize that you are a soulmate, or that they feel like you're a soulmate. They're recognizing this um, relationship for being more than what they thought it was, I think. Okay, and uh, that might have just happened. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Summertime. 
So whatever you're working on, it might you might be able to get it to really get off the ground or it might really start taking off in the summer. If you're starting like a new business or something, that's when you really see something change and really um something yeah, the star too. And you might become a star because of this. You got the starfish here. Also, maybe this five means something too. We have the five points here, whatever this is. I, I don't know my I don't know starfish. And then of course there's five points in the star, so it may have something to do with okay, observer. So Something that you're transforming here. Someone might be watching you. They might be watching you go through this transition. This change. Kind of makes sense with the Seven of Swords too. Someone could be watching you with this card too. And this Five of Pentacles. Why do we have the Five of Pentacles here? Offer. Yeah, someone wants to make you an offer. There's a message of love. Offer. Yeah, someone's coming in with an offer here. Why do we have the Page of Cups? Received. Okay, I think, okay, the, you might be getting messages like through the fifth dimension. This person might be trying to send you messages on uh, contact with you spiritually. Okay, and Seven of Swords. Why is whoop? Stuck. Okay, someone's stuck. We're gonna clarify those more. Someone, someone might be stuck on you. They can't get out of this. That's why they're, they're, they have to come back in because they're stuck on you. Soulmate. Wow. There's a lot of passion here, and this person sees you. So I know that because of this recognition, they definitely see you as a soulmate, and there is some kind of spiritual connection here. And this person probably goes alone, is alone a lot. Yeah, like here you are with this isolating alone. And I think this person feels the same way. You both probably feel alone without each other. Okay, let's do some clarifying here. Uh, I'm going to do... Okay, yeah, we have to put more on this. This King of Pentacles with the mute. Let's find out more about this. Spirit of the Wind. Activity, movement, disruption. So this is more like, almost like a tower. There's light. It's weird how we have this lightning, lightning. I think you guys, your chemistry, your energy is really amazing. I think maybe when you're together, you get that spark. But something might come in suddenly. This, this there's no talking but I think all of a sudden there will be because wind you could also see as um, communication as ear which would be you know the the mental communication here mental activity movement okay and how about with this restoration and return let's put a card on that too I mean sort of self-explanatory but I still like to put something on it here and we have spirit of the past nostalgic aching old flame. Yes, this is definitely of someone from the past wanting to come back. And we have, I mean, here we have restoration of a relationship. You know, getting this flame going again. A return. And this, this all goes together nicely. Someone's definitely come back from the past. Okay, how about this um, judgment card with the signs? What else can we get on that? Spirit of the Fae. Mischief? play fantasy okay so this person might come in when they come in they might surprise you and they might come in and that they, they might be um a little playful also they might fantasize about you this I, there's a lot of passion whoever this person is from the past whether they're they could be um aries leo sagittarius or they could be capricorn virgo taurus there's a lot of passion between you guys Hmm. Okay, let's get something on this recognition and night of one. Just more on this, please. Spirit of fog. Unclear confusion shadiness. Okay, they want to come in, but they're confused. They don't know how to do this. Um, but this is a thing from the past. Maybe they were unclear in the past. Uh, let 
me see. She, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna have to come back and put another. Get another deck and get something else on that. Okay, let's do the Eight of Pentacles in summer. What else? Spirit of the Castle, Fortress, Rescue, Imprisonment. Yeah, there's something. Whoever's working on something, they're trying to get themselves out of this um this imprisonment. I think someone actually might be trying to work to get themselves out of um, a current job that they're in. They want to maybe start their own business and they're working on that. That's what's coming up really strong for me. It might be the summertime when this really was is able to take off though. Because right now, there's a lot to be done. There's um, I'm getting there's a lot of things and like it's kind of I'm getting like okay I have to work here but I have to work here but I have to work here so whatever this um new businesses or this new whatever this um whatever someone's taking on here it feels like they keep on in order to get everything to come together they sort of have to go in this area and work a little bit then go in this area and work a little bit and then go this area and then it's all going to come together at once but it can't be like you just fight, stay focused in one area whatever this is this business or this um project it has to be done like in steps but each step has to have a little attention and and it's sort of like you got a circle it's almost like it's it's a circle you start here and you got to work on this area then after you just do put the finishing touches or do something on that then you have to move over to this area and do something here and then you move over to this area so it's and then it will all come together all at once but it has to be done in these stages if that makes any sense to anyone Okay, how about this um, death card and the observer here? This transition card. Spirit of light, awakening, new dawn beginnings, new beginnings. Yes, that makes sense because this is a transition. So this, someone's watching you going through this though. They're observing what you're going through. They know what you're going through somehow. And you are awakening. There's going to be new beginnings, awakening, and there's, there's, they see you changing, you're, you're transforming. It's almost like when you see this picture, too, how, it, you know, this person, you know, has to draw this person. <clears throat> you know, they start here, and it's, it's slowly, it's a work in progress. And that's the whole th idea here. And so is this, this awakening, this new dawn, this um, beginnings. It's a transition, so it's a slow transition. But this is coming in, it's going to be very good for you. Okay, how about, um... Yeah, what if everything else looks more or less uh, I just want to go through this one. We gotta have more on this. The seven of swords and stuck. Spirit of the stranger. Caution, warning, danger. Okay, so something's around you that you'd be very cautious about. Everything else looks really good. You're working, but someone is deserving what you're doing. <clears throat> you might be jealous of what you're doing. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, so stuck. Somehow you're stuck, and there's a spirit stranger. And then we have spirit of possession here. Incubus, succubus, sexual obsession. Someone's sexually uh, obsessing over you. I don't think it's this person. I think this person coming back, but, but there's someone else might be watching, and they might even know about this other person coming back. This might be a karmic that you're with, or someone else, or the other person's with. That you have to, um, be a little cautious about this karmic this whole reading looks great except for this one area here that's a little concerned but you know that's a warning that's like give me a heads up let's um let me just let's get more on this here and then we'll go and put some more on that over there to see what's going on with this caution stuff Diamond promise. Okay, so this person is unclear, confused. They might want to um, get engaged or make a prom, or they maybe they you were engaged before, or they just recently made you a promise. I don't know. That's going to relate to people differently. Oh, here we have rapid soul development that comes from challenging times. Okay, now let's put. I'm going to put three cards on this here because I'm concerned about this one over here so let's see flame eternity ivy clinging oh mystery wow so so whoever this person is they 
either they want you for attorney or you know they're not gonna let go they're very clean or it's your person but someone has someone that is not letting go it's either you or your person but I think you're meant to be together with this person but you have someone in here that's watching that's um not very good energy so be careful with this person and then we have hourglass time is slipping so this person that wants to come back feels like they might be running out of time to connect with you they may be afraid that someone else is going to come in and swoop you up or something wow Whew. so let's just um just want to throw a few more cards on this what else do we have coming up for libra Empress. They might see you as an empress and their son. You make them very happy and they want to get married or have a total commitment with you, move in together. And they feel right now left out in the cold, but you know, there's the key, there's the the, the hole to unlock the door so that they, you know, they can find their way. It's weird because it's like the five of pentacles, five of pentacles. So that's the energy that someone feels left out and isolated, but they do want to know beginning with you. They, um, you could create anything and also at this point in time um, you've got to worry about a pregnancy if you don't want to get pregnant if you want to get pregnant that's awesome because it's a very good time for pregnancy right now with the Empress and we have the King of Swords here so someone definitely I feel like someone definitely wants to talk to you and so now we have three Kings that came out in this spread we have the wands the Pentacle and the swords but I'm feeling more like this is someone that's very intelligent is really Focusing on how to come towards you and talk to you, which is probably this um, energy here. Being come there, there they they have a lot of passion for you, but they want to make sure they connect with you in the right way. And they're very smart. Yeah, there's de definitely a lot of communication with you. And then we have the King of Cups. Okay, so we have the Emperor here because we got every single King. Because now we have the King of Cups on the bottom. So you guys are a match. If they see you as the Empress or whichever way this goes, I think they see you as the Empress and they are the Emperor. They have all the qualities of all the Kings. So you guys really are a good match again. Whoever this person is, um, you know, be careful around this person. There's, there's mystery around them. They, um, they don't want to see you guys connect they know how powerful you are together they know how much how many how your feelings are for each other so they really are might try to um, sabotage this and they, they see that you're transforming you're going through some major changes that are um, just your life is changing for the better this looks really good Libra there's a lot going on for you and this person is going to come in and make an offer to you they want to you know offer you their cup so they're coming. All right, Libra, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.